Here comes all the mess. As soon as we have a place to put something, we fill it up. Here's my uh, pay, uh, what's it called? Wood insulation. Yeah, so welcome everybody uh, to this little togetherness. Little little time of love with each other. Actually got some frogs down there. It doesn't rain very much here where, where I live. Some frogs there. And the poor little things, I don't think they can get up. They seem happy. There's another one. There. Oh, where is it? Yeah. You got him? No. So one day it will fill up. One day. And I got my little petunia, petunias. I sowed some in the springtime. So I got some. Yeah. So let's go inside. And. Uh, And, uh, yeah, to be quite honest, I haven't done much since I last made a video. It's really very, uh, very much the same. So, but I got out my sewing machine because I've got some stuff to do. And I got myself a mosquito net because there are many mosquitoes here because of the forest. And that works, <laughs> but uh, I can't live here yet. So let's just uh, see how we can make a video. Uh, let's just see. So here I am by my house and I want to answer some of your questions and uh, it's, it's a fine balance for me because I don't want to share everything about my private life because that's not what, not what this channel really is for and I feel uh, the most uh, the most important thing is to really, help. as I've said this many times before, the most important thing is to really help you find your own, the kingdom of God within you. So to be on your track and uh, hearing about me uh, can be wonderful but can also be distracting. So, uh, but I can just share a little bit about my journey and maybe, I think maybe some rain is coming so we might have to go indoors. But. Um, uh, it's been an incredible uh, adventure doing this house and it has been a, a, a leap of uh, <laughs> a lot of courage and a lot of faith and maybe also a bit of stupidity because uh, I really built that I didn't I didn't apply at the council our council before I started building this house which was really mad but I think it was it was a part of my um, my need to, to protest or be rebellious. I have this sort of rebellious side of me and just want, just, just say, you know, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> what, the, what the hell? I'm going to do what I'm going to do and nobody's going to stop me type of attitude. And so after a while the council was apparently told what I was doing and, um, and so I've been connected with the council for a while and they are actually very understanding and, and uh, very sweet. So 
as I've told you before, most of this land is, is actually protected and you're not allowed to build anything on it. And some of the land up there, just right at the very northern end, is, uh, is a city area or town area where you, they don't have very strict rules. And there's also a land area or country zone. It's different zones, but they're very, 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 very small. And I thought I, I, was, I was looking on all the maps and trying to keep within the rules. So I thought this was in the town region, town zone, but it's actually in, not in the town zone. So the house is actually on a, uh, what, what they call the country zone. So I have to sort of apply now the proper way and uh, I'm hoping that they will approve of it but if they don't approve of it I have to I have to t take it all down <laughs> so, so we'll just see we'll see what happens but um, I tried sleeping up there one night and this was a, a quite a shock to the system I realized that the noise from the highway which is close to here was so enormous it was it was like being in hell for a night <laughs> it was so loud and now the house isn't insulated but it's still it's a very light build because it's just these boards and I'm going to insulate with 15 centimeters of uh, this insulation I've bought but still I'll be able I can't open the windows without hearing that enormous noise so that was really quite a shock and I, I, I can't, I can't uh, live there. And yeah, it's, there, there's many different things in this. Uh, but I made a great realization. Um, we might go indoors now, but I, the realization was, first of all, I can't, I can't be there because I need a lot of peace and quiet. It's very, very important for my, just for my whole state of being that I'm in a quiet place. Uh, noise is very, very difficult for me to tolerate. So I couldn't just move up there. So now it's standing there and uh, there are some people who have said, gosh, that's a cute little house. <laughs> and I got some flowers, as you saw, some little flowers, but they're not hanging over the side, but they are there. So does this go into the and you can hear the road from here, but uh, at night it's just unbelievable why we have to drive our cars all day and all night. We never stop, we humans. So after that night in, the, in there, I just was so relieved to move everything back <laughs> to my little wagon, because there it's peaceful. And it's very cozy and very easy to get warm so it's, it's there's a lot of things that have I've realized uh, so let's just get inside yeah so uh, back in the silence uh, Yeah, so, and, <clears throat> yeah, Other th another thing I can share is that, um, it's, 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 an, <laughs> it's really a huge, huge thing to, to talk about, but um, let's just see what happens. Um, I'm the sort of person who uh, does really sort of uh, sometimes make big leaps and, um, and I have the attitude rather do something than not do it and then afterwards you can uh, you can correct it or uh, do something do something else change you can always change what you're doing but to not and, and that is actually a very <laughs> people who have talked to Jesus directly uh, and their afterlife their afterlife um, assessment um, I read that in a book once that Jesus said that if you have ha have a creative uh, idea, uh, the worst thing is to not do it. So really, we're, we're being very, very 
uh, much asked to, to, to step for to, to, to take steps, take leaps. And it is very, very uh, refreshing. It's very uh, empowering. And I think we just learn what, compared to not doing things that we feel we, sh we really should do, we just, we do really move forward uh, very, very fast and mature very quickly if we want to. So, and of course it's very exciting. So, um, when you take the full responsibility for your life and you realize that you're really creating it yourself and you start to take these leaps, <laughs> you, you get really, really challenged, of course, by people around you and all the rules and regulations and and so many 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 times it, you have to sit there with yourself all on your own and ask yourself okay what am I going to do and believing in God believing in that I'm actually God myself and all is God and we are living in a benevolent universe uh, and nothing can really go wrong that's a great help <laughs> because uh, you never really feel that anything can go wrong and that if something seems really really difficult it has to, it's because it's meant to be difficult it's not meant to be easy there's something there that's very important for you to learn and therefore it's difficult Uh, so so yeah and then lots of things happen with my car and so the money the small amount of money I have I have to be very careful and always make sure I have a certain amount in the bank so that I don't starve you know so I have some money and if suddenly something's wrong with the car I have to focus on the car and not building so spend money on the car so that's where I am right now uh, but another major thing that happened in my life was the the was really um, because I feel very very connected to to my ex-husband and I have always felt very connected to him although we have had a very very wonderful but also very difficult emotionally difficult relationship um, and I think uh, <laughs> working working in a church as a church singer I stand up high and I can see all these people coming in going out, bringing in their babies to be christened, coming in to be married, just coming in for a Sunday service, it has really uh, touched me very deeply. And the whole thing of people staying together. When I see an old couple walking together, I get so touched. But that's maybe also because I'm a, I'm a, my parents divorced very early and, or quite early, when I was about six, six seven years old. And it's just, uh, as, I, as I was talking to an old man, I think he's in his 80s, 84 or something, and he, he left his wife after 30 years or something and found another woman and he said a divorce is never a happy thing. And, but... It, you know he did what he did and and he's happy that he did it but it's just uh, always painful in some way of course it is and um, and sometimes we have to we have to part for it for the rest of our lives and sometimes we reunite and I don't know anything about twin souls but they talk about this with twin souls that if you're a twin soul you go into separation and the separation might last a year it might last several lives and then you'll re and one day you will be reunited and I don't know if I'm a twin soul with my ex-husband but I feel very very bonded to him so <laughs> the whole thing of what what do I but also uh, yeah just going back to this thing about being a wife being husband um, in the in the in the the marriage ritual, the marriage ceremony, you say, I, I stay with you until death, death us parts. Uh, and um, I, I've just felt it very, very powerful, very, very strongly in me that, that, that the fact that I stay by my hu husband's side till one of us dies would be a very, very big gift for me. And not doing it, not being there, 
would be very very painful so I can feel um, this is something very strong for me so um, yeah so um, everything <laughs> everything in my life what, what can you say it's like every day is a new day for me and um, it's I think it's when you get in when you come in when you when you <laughs> come to a certain level of your evolution you are one with all and you know that you um, your deepest wish is to live in the deepest harmony with all all the time and for you to do that consciously you have to every day more or less wipe the slate clean and be ready make sure you live a life where you are very good to your body so your body works as well as you can make it work and have a lot of peace have a lot of quiet be very 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 uh, aware of any signals that are coming from within you or around you that are pointers to where to go <coughs> and so I got this very strongly some weeks ago that this is um, uh, uh, the joy of staying together and being there uh, as a uh, uniting our family is actually is stronger. I don't need a house. I never needed a house, but I had to. F I had to m make a way to f uh, to figure out how to live, and because I'm not very normal and also don't make very much money. Most people they have a full time job, make a lot of money and can live in a place that's quite expensive and I can't do that that way because I don't want to work that much and I can't physically manage having a job that's full-time so and also I'm very connected to nature it's it's more important in a way for me to be where there's a lot of nature and I can't be with many people it's just this is the way I work so it was a matter of figuring out okay how am I going to live and and also I think uh, when you leave someone to not sit down and just cry about it the rest of your life but although you're full of this enormous sadness which I was to say okay I'm sad I feel deeply deeply desperately sad that my family just dissolved and everything more or less just didn't work it's just like you're trying to make this little machine work for 30 years and it just keeps not working and finally you just leave it or uh, explode it or it just it just fell completely apart um, uh, but then the next step is to, to say okay how can I how can I uh, find the goodness here how can I create something wonderful for myself first of all because I'm not going to allow myself to be broken down by this because then I'm just going to die and I'm probably going to get it in, in my next lifetime so it's always <coughs> no matter what happens to us no matter how many children hate us and never want to see us again or whatever to keep realizing what's going on realizing how painful this is feeling the pain and still uh, finding the place of joy within you where you get all your nourishment to live on so you're like the cork crop cork screw that keeps popping up that's the feeling i got keep keep popping up to the top don't let anything ever ever pull you down so that you're not floating stay afloat and and keep dancing on the waves keep having fun and this is just this is the, 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 what all the spiritual masters came to teach us in all these different ways how do you um, how do you not only survive life but thrive in life and the deeper the pain we experience the higher we can go really so uh, yeah, so I don't know where my life is going, but I have presented this for, for my ex-husband, so he he's thinking what he wants. Um, 
and the other thing I got very strongly was um, uh, that that um, being being uh, together with a person is 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 a very beautiful I mean a very 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 wonderful gift to share your life with someone and to have someone by your side so that when things are difficult you have someone to support you that is a very very wonderful gift uh, but usually we find the person who triggers us the most and who can make us the most unhappy and so we need a level of uh, awareness and wholeness and strength to be with that person and to still grow and to maybe help them grow and to basically uh, use the life with them whatever triggers you as spiritual growth so that's very much what I got very strongly that this is not um, if, if, if ever this is to be <coughs> that we get together again it is not uh, with the the, um, the wish from my from my part that now we're going to change everything and we and we're both going to change and and I need you to change so that's what I got very strongly that uh, if it is to be I uh, give myself to that relationship um, with the wish that that my partner doesn't change and if he changes because he wants to change that's right, that's I will support him doing that but if he doesn't want to change I will love him there and I've tried this many many times but the challenge was too big for me uh, so 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 <clears throat> and that is really in all relationships and all, even within the relationship with ourselves it's uh, learning to love what is just as it is and in a in a partnership, when you're, um, uh, of course, the, the 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 more you have developed this love for yourself, the easier it will be to live as an awakened person in a relationship, with someone who's awakened or not awakened or whatever wherever they are. The easier it is, um, and and understanding that whatever whatever you whatever you do to. Uh, embrace everything with love especially the things that are triggering uh, every time you do this you, you are growing more and your ability to cope is greater your ability to stand anything is greater because you know that nobody in this world no matter how they behave can ever take away the kingdom of God within you all the joy that you you are cultivating within your heart as you sit quietly and listen to something or see something that maybe you can feel is triggering you it's only you who allows uh, that triggering to pull you down pull the corkscrew down <laughs> so but it takes uh, it can take uh, being a master really being a master uh, if, if you are very triggered in a relationship so so um, uh, yeah, and I have seen this many times in my relationship and tried it many times, but um, I think sometimes a, a complete break, a divorce, a complete, and that's what I feel in my life. This was the right thing to do, and I don't know where, where I'm going from now. I, I really don't know, uh, but um, to 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 completely split up so that each has to stand financially, emotionally, and in every way on their own two feet. That's that is very very necessary. Sometimes, uh, so we can really feel the fullness of who we are. All the addiction stops. All the mixing all, all the energies up your feelings are my feelings and my feelings are your feelings and what I want you want and I all this stops and that is very much cleaning the slate of a relationship so that in a way the relationship dies 
and you are more whole and they are more whole whatever they have done whatever sometimes and that really is in the case where where, where your ex-partner wants to grow uh, they will become more and more whole some people go, go down and become less and less whole so but uh, uh, and and also there's the aspect towards my children who are all adults and and not children really um, but I have a good feeling in me that I have said that this is I wish to stand be by their father's side the rest of my life it feels very, very good for me, very right, and it might never be, and so we'll just see <laughs> what what uh, is to be. <clears throat> so this place I might leave in in a few months. I might keep it for many years. I don't know what's going to happen, and uh, and that has been the, the the whole process also that um, that I've gone through. And living in this little shack with toilet paper hanging out of the window. <laughs> so, this is so primitive uh, how I have learnt that I need so little really. And and my main... Um, uh, there, there are some major, major important things. And one is that I'm, I'm in a quiet place and it's comfortable and warm and dry. I have the right food for my body. I can do my different uh, self-love things of cleansing and just scrubbing my skin every morning with a little brush, putting oil on my on my skin. Um, is very and 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 uh, having nature nearby, and the relationships I have are loving. That the, the, the few relationships I have are loving. That that's really what I need. Where I live, I mean I, I could probably live in a city really by now. I'm not sure <laughs> I would do it also because there's so much uh, radiation now. I don't know but um, I go to my girlfriend's place and sleep in the middle of the city sometimes in Copenhagen and it's it's uh, it's quite intense but uh, I think when you just when you peel off all so many things that I have done in my life you get to the very core of what is really important for me and and making sure I'm as I said to my son yesterday I was I saw yesterday I said um, um, what do you call it I practice extreme self-care that's my life extreme self-care and that's the only way because when I reconnect with one of my children or when I am with someone I'm full I'm, I'm filled up because I have done things and I have an attitude that makes me feel like a, a cup very very full of love and I've made sure that this happens this is the way it is and really whatever happens in my life it really basically does not matter because because the feeling is still there so so we can send out these wishes into the universe that this is what I want and to be there as a mother and now this was the wife thing and in my situation it feels right for me uh, in some situations it is definitely not the right thing to do because it's it's just it just feels wrong <laughs> but for I think for the children that it, are, that are in our lives, no matter what they have chosen to do, the fact that I'm always loving them and always forgiving them, or not even forgiving them, but just leaving the past behind me, that is 100% important for me, so that I'm not carrying on to any uh, sadness, regret about what I did, what they did, what they said, what I said, always wiping that slate clean every day so that when we reconnect I'm just love I just am love and I feel I'm dedicated to be there for them the rest of my life of course I am that, that <laughs> that's always been I mean family I'm a family person and being a mother is just a very 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 enormous part of my 
this um, incarnation. And we can feel differently as mothers, and I'm just telling you how I feel, and what I feel is true for me. And uh, it can be very different. So, 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 I've given myself with this enormous leap, I've given myself, I feel, but also others in my life, the opportunity to really feel what is really, really, really vitally important for me. What can I not let go of? What can I not do? Have a part, being a part of my life, and so just repeating that the the the, the, the most important is that I am living in this very very self caring way, so that I'm always letting go, letting go of all the sadness and regret, just letting it go, feeling it and seeing it, letting it go, and every day staying in a state of of love for myself and for this moment and and going into everything for a drive or with a person uh, I go I go there with that with, I, I bring that with me and it's really the kingdom of God within us that we just make fill us and and bring that wherever you go that is the core uh, importance for me and and human beings are very very um, tough. We <laughs> we don't need so much. And all the practical things I've realised, you don't need much water really, as long as you have some clean drinking water. You can use rainwater for nearly everything. You don't need to wash things all the time. And a very uh, probably very provocative thing to say. I talk about the urine therapy. You can use urine to wash your hands and. Wash your fa wash your body. You can use urine for all sorts of things, and uh, you don't need so you don't need electricity. Uh, so I've learned so much about what I don't need, and yeah, and a little thing I can share. I've I've done. I've I've met so many beautiful people because it because I've been so just on my own. Uh, uh, yeah, and also, I mean, deeply lonely in periods. I've been very, very lonely. So, and, and, and realized how important relationships are for me. They are vitally important. So I need being alone a lot, but meet, being with people I love, but also meeting new people is really very, very stimulating and very important for me. So uh, in the church, there's all these old usually old people coming in. One of the old ladies, I was, we have coffee after the, the service, and she said she's a, we call them Vikings here in Denmark, and they are all winter bathers. They, they, they go and swim in the ocean every morning, all year round. And I thought to myself, I love going to the beach, and I love swimming, and I can go swimming here, as you've seen. But swimming with other people, and they all strip off, just, it's all uh, skinny dipping, just naked, so they meet on a on a beach near where I I work uh, at my church. They meet there at a beautiful beach every morning at seven o'clock, and some of them are eighty four years old, and <laughs> most of them are really really old. And they go out now that they, 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 they go out into the water in this beautiful beautiful ocean, very fresh beautiful uh, water, and swim. And some swim for maybe ten minutes. Some just go and have a dip and get up and put their clothes on and go home and do their thing and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna try that so I and it's been really really fun and also a wonderful I haven't done it every morning because I'm not there every morning but I've done it a few times and some of these old ladies who are 80 years old they bicycle go on their bicycle because that's a very big thing in Denmark you go on your bicycle and they drive maybe one lady was saying she, she drove 10 kilometers every morning to get to the beach <laughs> but she's uh, she doesn't do that anymore but there's a lady who's 80 years old she drives four kilometers on her bike to go swimming she does that in a sum in the summertime so but that whole experience of being naked just throwing yourself into the ocean and hearing all these voices of these old or these different people aged people 
saying, oh, this is so good. This is so good. And just swimming around. And uh, it, it, was, it was a very beautiful experience. It's um, getting together as fellow humans and there's no serious talk about anything. It's just enjoying being and enjoying being a part of nature and honoring the ocean and the water and our bodies moving around in this water and just uh, enjoying togetherness, enjoying the ocean, enjoying nature and enjoying life. And as one of the ladies, because when they're swimming around, we're sort of talking and meeting each other. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> My name is this and this. And she said she's been coming there for 20 years. I think she was in her 70s. And, uh, and she says, we, we, we get a different vocabulary. So instead of saying, oh, no, oh, no, we're saying, oh, this is so good. <laughs> and, uh, and you can sense it. It's very uplifting. So uh, the enjoyment of life. Uh, in all its simplicity, when everything is stripped off, just these naked humans. So this was uh, a real mixture of a lot of personal things, and uh, yeah, it's a good feeling. So we don't know what's going to happen. That house is standing very still, and I, f I feel very good about it because I was really pushing myself to the limit because I'm a very sensitive person. And as I say, I need a lot of self-care and focusing on this house and all these details and <laughs> making sure it doesn't just fly away was an enormous challenge. So I'm so glad it's nearly all... Cl I have to close off the back and I, I, I would like to close off the windows and around the door uh, before the winter comes. So it's really uh, closed off. And... Uh, but we'll see. It's it's lovely just to let it go because it was very very intense. So and now I'm enjoying. I've got some days of holiday and I'm enjoying seeing some of my loved ones and just being together, just being together. So I send you all my love and I, yeah, hope you can use some of this for your in your life. Uh, on your journey. The self caring the self-nurturing and uh, really getting to know what is really important for me. So I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!